Well, the wife's away on another work trip, so I thought I'd just uh, show you real quick um, about annealing. Now, proponents of the M state um, ascribe a lot of importance to annealing that it somehow energizes the, the sample and enables it to, to go into a higher energy state. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know about that, but, um, but there's another good reason for annealing your sample, and that is to drive off any water that may be in the sample, particularly if you want to experiment with the, with the sample, then you want to be able to remove that as a, a variable in the equation when you weigh it. So you don't want to know, you don't want to have an unknown amount of water in there. So if you heat it above 100 degrees C, you should be able to drive that off. And I typically uh, put my oven on uh, highest. My oven really only goes up to about 250, 275, and that's that will be high enough to to drive off any moisture for sure. Now I always use a Pyrex dish, and these are dishes that I bought like you know 10 bucks or something, um, especially for the purpose they're like they're mine. And uh, just sprinkle your sprinkle your powder in there over the bottom, and pop that in the oven. And for for different experiments, you can anneal it over and over again. It's said that if you anneal it over and over again, uh, and it will gradually produce the the high speed state. Now you don't really need to leave it in there long. Maybe half an hour, something like that, uh, would be quite adequate. Now, just make sure that your oven doesn't go over 350 degrees C uh, because the if there's magnesium in the sample, magnesium hydroxide, then it can uh, degrade to uh, magnesium oxide and just depends whether you want to do any experiments on that. Uh, then you need to just be aware that if you go over 350, you're going to alter the state of it and you will find that the mass will decrease just for that alone because water is produced in that process and that will obviously go off with the other water that you're driving off the sample. Well it's now been annealed three times and on the last time then I also put the container I'm going to put it in uh, in there to heat up as well and that's just so that I know that there's no moisture stuck on the inside of the container. So there it is there. Here's the material I've been annealing. Still a bit hot to the hot to the touch, um, but certainly well down within a manageable zone. And just see how well the light is in here. But yeah, just pour it in. Very dry. Very flowable. I do it on a piece of paper like this, just in case I. Have a mistake. You can also do it on a um, on a plate or something like that. So I'll make sure I get every last bit. That all looks good. Pop the lid on. That's still pretty warm. There it is, well and truly annealed.